Hello everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode, I'll talk about a new feature that just rolled out to Microsoft Teams. The possibility to archive a channel. Yes, a channel. So up until now, we could delete the channel and restore it. Now if we go to one of the channels, for instance, HR or IT, click the three dots, we have archive channel. Here we see a message that the conversations will be frozen, but we can restore the channel at any time. Now, if we check this checkbox, it will set the read only to the folder for the members, not to the owner, but to the members. At this stage, let's leave it like that and then we'll test it. So you see this actually disappeared. We see that it's a hidden channel and it has an icon of archive. Let's look at the experience. We see there's a no entry. This channel is archived, so you can't post anything. Doesn't mean that you cannot upload any documents. Um, so let's see the experience actually for another user. So the user Alex will go to HR. He will see that this channel is archived and you can't post anything. Same thing if we look at the document library of the folder, the folder, the channel actually is a folder in the document library. So if we go to HR, we see that we can do everything and it's not limited. So let's just um, go back and also um, archive the IT uh, channel. So I'm archiving the channel and setting also read only. Now if we go and uh, refresh the member, we will see actually that um, for the same channel, we still see it's blocked. If we go to the document library for the member, you will see that actually now it's read only. Just see this, and you see that we cannot do anything. So, and if we check the permissions also, you could see that um, it's read only. We can't see it from here, but we can show you it from from the owner. Now let's see what happens if we all of a sudden want to restore it. So what we can do is go back to the teams and we see both uh, channels and we click the three dots and we can click on restore. Once it does this, then actually uh, we have set the HR now to be uh, back as a normal and we can post and do all of the things we wanted. Now, a, a, a new thing or additional thing I tested is, by the way, you can do the whole possibility. If I go to the team and click on the three dots, manage teams and go to channels, you see all of the active uh, channels, the share channels, the deleted ones and the archive. So from here, I can see all of those that were archived and I can actually uh, restore from here and this is a very uh, comfortable place to to manage it. Now what I noted is that what you can do is first you can delete or you can archive. Now it's not possible to uh, delete or archive the general channel. Uh, this is from what I tested but I will archive this HR channel and now what I can do now it's an archive I can delete the archived channel and now you see it's moved from archive to deleted but it's archived now I can restore it if I restore it, it still restores it but because it's archived, then um, I need 
still to uh, restore it to be not archived. So it's a combination of deleting, archiving, uh, and activating. Now we see everything. So this is um, a cool feature that the site owner can uh, use. Um, of course, in admin, you can also uh, archive um, a team. But uh, up until now, it was not possible to archive a channel. So now we see this functionality. Let's see what you think. Tell me in the comments and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.